Hey everybody, this is Ian here from Discovery Buddy on this beautiful sunny day in Ireland. Well, actually it's not, it's raining, but that's not going to dampen our spirits. Today we're going to look at a tool called DLVR.IT. On a previous blog post, we looked at a range of tools that allowed you to automatically copy content from your blog, to send it out to Twitter and Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And one of these was DLVR.IT. So we're just going to take a more in-depth look at it. So when I come to the website, I see here it asks me to enter my email address and password to sign up. Now we've already created an account, so we're just going to log in. So when I log in, you'll see there's no routes defined. So what I need to set up is a source and a destination. So the source is where does DLVR get the content from, and the destination is where it sends it to. So for example, getting from a blog and going to Twitter. So within the source, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a source on. So I say it's a new source and I specify my feed URL is basically the address of the feed where my blog is. So if you don't know this address, you may need to talk to your developer. And the next option is when should we make your first post? And by default, this says post the most recent item first. So as soon as you set this account up, the most recent blog post item will be sent out. So then what I need to do is set up my feed updates. At the moment I say feed update periods every 30 minutes. I, for example, could change that to every hour. So every hour I want DLVR to check to see if there's any new blog posts for this feed. And I can say what's the maximum number of items to post during this update period. And I might say, for example, set that to two. And then I say the max number of items to post per day is currently set to 100. I set that to 10. Now the trickle option is currently set to trickle off. What this means is that there's the maximum number of updates in any update period is two. But what happens if I write five blog posts? Well, with trickle set off, it ignores the other three and it'll only send out two. But if I set that to post newest items first, that means if there's five new items, it will send two and then the next update period will send the next two, and the next update period will send one. So all the posts that will be sent out will be just spread out over time. So quite a handy setting. So the item text, this is where when a tweet, for example, goes out, do you want to start that tweet with a particular word or end it with a particular word? For example, at the end of every tweet, you might, might include a hashtag related to the tweet. So it'll automatically add this to the start of the, the end of the tweet. I can also replace words within it as well. So I can say, what's my original text and replace that. So you may not want to do any of this, but it is configuration options that are available. Then what I can do is I can set up filters. So a filter for an example of a filter would be, if there's a guest post author on my blog, I may not want to send out content from that author. So I can specify the author and in the this setting, ignore items that contain any of these terms. So I can mention a guest post or the author's name. So then not everything is set, sent out for my feed. From guest posts, I don't send out. For the scheduling, this is really so when DLVR is sending updates, you may only want them to go out during certain times and certain days. You may not want the updates to go out during the night when your Twitter following is not around. So you'd specify what is the start and end time. These could be office hours, for example. And then specify the days you want the updates to go out. You may not, for example, want to go out on a Sunday or a Saturday. Next option is location. If you check this, well, the DLVR.IT will tell Twitter your location when it's sending out the information. And there's various advanced settings here that we won't configure at the moment, but we'll come back to a later stage. So that's set up the source. So I've configured the source, all the details of the source. Next one I want to do then is configure the destination. So I add a destination and I pick what social media tool I want to send to, for example, Twitter or Facebook. So I'm selecting Twitter. I'm selecting my existing account, selecting next, and then there's some configuration options. The first one just shows that this account is authorized already. So DLVR is authorized to send out on my behalf. The second is the post content. When we're posting out content through Twitter, what do we want to include in it? We want the title, we want the link. Is there any words we want to add at the end or at the start? 
And then there's some advanced configuration options. The hashtag is interesting because this can automatically add hashtags onto the end of the tweets. And that could be related to tags that you set up within, for example, WordPress. And I can't specify if there's a maximum number of tags that I send out. So I could set that to one hashtag. So that's really the source and destination setup. Now what you can do, you can have overall route settings. So if you've got multiple routes, you can have an overall route setting that, for example, says, well, no matter what route you set up, don't ever send out posts from any of guest authors. So these are various ones that will apply to all routes that you set up. You can also, within the tracking, you can integrate with Google Analytics or another analytics tool called Omniture. That's very handy to find out. Are people clicking on the links? What are they doing when they click on the links? And by default, there's a web address shortener for DLVR. If I'm not happy to use this shortener, what I can do is I can apply my own shortener so I can use something like Bitly or something. So that's basically it. So now automatically, if there is a new post from Discovery Buddy, it will automatically be sent out from Twitter. So the basics are quite straightforward. There's some useful advanced options as well. They may need as well. That's basically dlvr.it. Hope you find that useful. It's Ian from Discovery Buddy. Thank you.